Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IS classes. Today in this video, we are going to see answers for the questions from 50 to 70. Okay, so the first question is 51 that is regarding Government of India Act 1919. So the functions of provincial government, they were divided into reserved and transferred subjects. So which of the following are treated as reserved subjects? So one is administration of justice and next one is local self-government and third one is land revenue and fourth one is police. Actually there will be local no local self-government. So the correct option will be 1, 3 and 4. So option C is correct answer. And next question is regarding medieval India. So in medieval India term farnam referred as nothing but coin. So it is a very simple question. And if you have gone to your NCRTs, then you can easily solve this question. And next question is regarding freedom fighters. So 53rd question here is consider the following free uh, freedom fighters. So first one is B. K. Ghosh. So actually he was younger brother of Aravindo Ghosh. So he was a revolutionist and even he uh, mainly also uh, released Jugantar. It is a weekly. So he was also a journalist. And he mainly involved in Alipur bomb conspiracy case and he was given death sentence. And this one is J.C. Chatterjee. So as actually this Jogesh Chandra Chatterjee, he mainly involved in Anushilan Samiti and even H.R.A. as well. And this one is Raj Bihari Ghosh. He mainly involved in this Gadar party. So here who of the above were actively associated with this Gadar party that is D3 only. And next question, it is 54th with reference to proposals of the Scripps machine. Okay, Scripps mission, uh, consider the following statements. So, we had the Scripps mission in 1942. So, your statements are the first one is constant assembly would have members of nominated by this provincial assemblies as well as princely state. So, as, as actually under the Scripps mission, they talked about Indian dominion status for India and under this here constituent assembly which mainly contains this elected members and even nominated members elected members from this provincial assemblies and nominated members from the princely state so first statement is incorrect and next statement here is any province which is not prepared to accept the new constitution actually they didn't talk about new constitution they talked about dominion status so this statement is also incorrect so correct option is d neither one nor two and next question it is regarding with reference to Indian history, consider the following text that is Niti Prakarana and Parishitta Parvan, Avadana Shaktika and Trishakti Lakshana Mahapurana. So actually, if you go deep into this Jainism and Buddhism topic only, then you can get into this, into this books, especially if you read some advanced books for you are optional then only you will come across these books okay so actually this question which is mainly demanding that which are the above or Jaina text that is option 2 and option 4 and option 1 and option 3 they are buddhist text so the correct option here is b 2 and 4 only and next question is with reference to indian history consider the following pairs so first one is arya deva arya deva he is jain scholar yes and Dignaga, Dignaga, he is also Jain scholar. Next one is Natamuni, he is Vaishnava scholar. So here the second statement should be eliminated. So correct, op, uh, correct option is 1 and 3. So we are having only two pairs or correct option C is correct answer. And 57th question is with reference to Indian history, consider the following statement. So the first Mongol invasion of India which happened during the reign of Jalaluddin Khalji. Yes, this statement is absolutely correct. And next one is, during the reign of Aladdin Kilji, one Mongol assault, they marched up to Delhi, but they didn't reach Delhi. So, they were stopped at Punjab itself. So, this statement is incorrect. And next one is, Muhammad bin Tughlaq temporarily lost portions of northwest of his kingdom to Mongols. Yes, this statement is correct. So, correct option will be C, 1 and 3. And next question, it is mainly based on your Indian history again. So, 58th question here is with reference to Indian history, who of the following are known as Kulla Dharan? So, Kulla it is nothing but the name of cap. Who will wear this cap? So, it is mainly worn by Sayyids. So, correct option is D, Sayyids. And next question, it is 59. So, with reference to Indian history, consider the following statements. 
so dutch established their factories or warehouses on east coast on the lands granted to them by gajapati rulers actually here if you are talking about this gajapati rulers before this gajapati rulers itself there were establishment of dutch which mainly happened so this statement is absolutely incorrect and next one is alfonso de albuquerque captured goa from B, uh, bijapur sultanate yes this point which is mainly clearly given in your ncert and next one is the english east india company established a factory at madras on the plot of land which made rele uh, released from the representative of vijayanagara empire that is from especially nayakas okay so here two and three are correct so correct option is b two and three and next question is regarding kautilya's adra shastra so you might be studying about this kautilya's adra shastra in your ethics especially in your thinkers and philosophers chapter so according to this kautilya's adra shastra which of the following are correct so first statement here is a person could be slave as a result of judicial punishment yes next one is if a female slave bore her master is son she was legally free yes and if a son born to female slave was further was fathered by her master and the son was entitled the legal status of the master son yes so here the correct options here is d 1 2 and 3 next question is our 61st question so consider the following statements so tight monetary policy of us federal reserve could lead to capital fight so tight monetary policy means there is increasing of interest rate so whenever there is increasing of interest rate in usa so why people they will be investing in india right so already if there is investor in india means so that money they will be taking and they will be investing in us so first statement is correct and next one is the capital flight may increase the interest cost of firms with existing external external commercial borrowings so you need to know about what is this ecb that is external commercial borrowings so through this mainly we will be going for raising of funds and this statement is also correct and next one is devaluation so whenever we are talking about depreciation so depreciation will lead to decreasing of currency risk associated with this ecbs but not devaluation so correct option will be only one and two that is option a is correct answer so you have to see whether it is depreciation or devaluation and next consider the following states andhra pradesh kerala himachal pradesh and tripura so how many of them are above generally known as tea producing states normally four states are called as generally tea producing states in india first one is kerala next one is assa west bengal and tamil nadu so these are the four states generally known as uh, tea producing states but other states here is andhra pradesh himachal pradesh tripura they are also tea producing states but they are not generally known as tea producing states so only kerala that is only one state option a is correct answer and next question here is consider the following statements in india credit rating agencies are regulated by rbi it is a, absolutely wrong so credit rating agencies they comes under the control of sebi so if you are eliminating this first statement answer will be b 2 and 3 only so the rating agency is popularly known as icra it is a public limited company so regarding this icra we discuss number of times in our hindu analysis and this one is brick work ratings it is an indian credit rating agency yes so that option is b 2 and 3 and next question is 64th question it is regarding banks board bureau so with reference to this b b b banks board bureau which of the following statements are correct so first one is governor of rb is chairman of this banks board bureau but absolutely wrong he is not our governor of rbi and recently banu pratap sharma he was uh, he is the chairman of this uh, bbb and next one is BBB recommends for the selection of uh, heads for public sector or banks. Yes, actually this BBB it is autonomous recommendatory body and headquarter which is located in this Mumbai. So important function here is it will be giving some advices, okay, advisory nature. So BBB which mainly helps public sector or banks in developing strategies and as well as capital raising plans. Yes, so these two statements are correct. So correct option is B2 and 3 only and next question it is regarding convertible bonds so what are these convertible bonds they are like fixed income 
फिक्सड इनकम कॉर्पोरेट डेट सिक्योरिटी एंड दे कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू प्रोडामिनेंट मेम्बर्स फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन टॉक अबाउट स्टॉक्स एंड एज वेज इक्विटी शेयर्स सो इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस कन्वर्टेबल बॉन्ड्स फर्स्ट एडमेंट इज एज देर इज एन ऑप्शन टू एक्सचेंज द बॉन्ड फॉर इक्विटी एज ए सेड नाउ सो कन्वर्टेबल बॉन्ड्स दे पे लोअर इंटरेस्ट रेट येस and the option to convert to equity affords bond holder a degree of indexation to raise the consumer price or yes so correct option is c both 1 and 2 and next question is very simple so consider the following so asian development asian infrastructure investment bank that is aib next one is mtcr that is missile technology missile technology control regime next one is sco shanghai cooperation organization i already said you that there will be question regarding sco for sure and as well as eib for sure in this year prelims in our hindu analysis yes the question is here so here you have to see india is member of which of the following above yes india is member of aib india is member of this mtcr and shanghai cooperation organization so correct option is d 1 2 and 3 it is a very simple question and next question is regarding vietnam actually this question is somewhat tough because we will be not much bothered about other countries right so consider the following statements vietnam had been one of the fastest growing economies in the world in the recent years okay so please keep the statements aside and like and last we need to come up with the answer next one is vietnam led by multi political party but it is led by only single political party that is cpv okay communist party of vietnam so you can eliminate this second statement next one is vietnam economic growth is linked to its integration with global supply chain and focus on exports yes it is correct and for long time vietnam low labor cost and stable exchange rates they have been attracted global manufacturers so because of this it led to increasing of manufacturing and next one is vietnam had most productive e service sector in this indo pacific region yes was for sure we know that second option is incorrect so you can eliminate this second option and which are the options to select 1 3 and 4 and 3 and 5 so in these both uh, options here 3 is common and now we have to see for 1 4 and 5 okay so as you all know that vietnam is in news because of fastest growing economies okay so first statement is absolutely correct so option will be c 1 3 and 4 so in this way you can go for selecting of options and next question it is 68th question In India, which of the following is responsible for maintaining of price stability by controlling inflation? Okay, so this is a very very simple question. Uh, and option here is Department of Consumer Affairs, Expenditure Management Commission, Financial Stability and Development Council. Next one is RBI. So correct option is D R B I. And sixty ninth question is regarding NFT, that is non fungible tokens. so with reference to non fungible tokens consider the following statements so first of all you need to know what is this nft nft it is unique digital unique digital asset so it is unique digital asset and it mainly represents and it mainly represents ownership of physical assets okay so here if you see the statement which are given so they enable the digital representation of physical asset as i said yes they are unique cryptographic tokens yes they are mainly using this cryptography and they can be traded and as well as exchanged at equivalency and therefore can be used as a medium of commercial transactions yes these three statements are correct so correct option is d 1 2 and 3 and 70th question here is reservoirs and states so actually this gatta prabha reservoir is also called as hitkal dam which is mainly located in the state of karnataka but not in telangana and gandhi sagar which is located in madhya pradesh and indra sagar is also located in madhya pradesh and maithan which is located in this jharkhand so correct pair here is gandhi sagar which is located in madhya pradesh so correct answer here is a only one pair so these are the answers for the questions from 50 to 70 so by this i'm concluding thank you so much